When I first heard about coronavirus, I heard only the sick needed to wear masks. But now it's become clear that everyone should be wearing masks whenever they are in public or around other people. Masks are in short supply and can be hard to find. But we can all easily make really good masks in about 10 minutes from common household items without sewing. This way, everyone can have a mask and we will not contribute to the shortage of masks needed by frontline healthcare workers and others with higher risk factors. If you simply want video instructions on how to make the mask, jump ahead to this point in the video. So how do we know masks are so important? One, the countries and cities that made wearing a mask a normal part of the culture during the coronavirus outbreak fared much, much better. They were taught to treat everyone as if they were contagious. Japan, South Korea, Hong Kong, Singapore all had much better trajectories. Two, you could be infected and contagious for several days and not even know it. If everyone wears masks, it will massively reduce the number of people infected, and we can all get back to work sooner, which is much better for the economy. Three, wearing a mask when healthy can help prevent you from getting sick. Just like doctors and frontline medical workers wear masks to protect them from their patients' infections and germs, you can protect yourself. Research shows even a lower-rated homemade mask can help lower transmission several fold. We need to eliminate any perceived stigma. Many people are self-conscious about wearing masks. This absolutely needs to change. Just like self-quarantine and social distancing were a big change, masks are an essential part of keeping the number of coronavirus cases as low as possible. Eventually, we will all need to get back to work and living our lives if we want the economy to rebound. This means reassimilating to public spaces, working, commuting, gathering in groups, and everyone wearing masks, sick or not, 100% needs to be a part of the initiative to protect people as much as possible until the pandemic has subsided. Now I'll show you how you can make a homemade mask in about 10 minutes from common household items without sewing. Our design is similar to a surgical mask with a critical nose pinch, which keeps the mask secure at the top of the nose and cheeks and fits snug against the contours of the face. We recommend 100% cotton fabric with a tight weave, which has been evaluated in studies as comparable to approved surgical masks. What you will need, a top bed sheet with side hems, 100% cotton tight weave, scissors, measuring tape, or an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper to approximate, a large paper clip, stapler, or safety pins. A queen size top sheet makes about 20 to 24 masks. Step one, prepare and cut the mask. Lay the sheet on a surface so the side hem is facing up on the table exposed. Measure and mark 13 inches on the hem side by five inches perpendicular. Cut out the piece. Step two, cut the ties. Measure, then cut four half inch by 17 inch strips from the sheet interior. You'll want to preserve the hem for more masks. These strips will become the mask ties. Step three, make the nose pinch. Straighten a large paper clip, then fold in the ends to minimize sharp edges. Then, insert the paper clip into the cloth tunnel. Position it in the center of the cloth tunnel. Once in place, bend the paper clip to an approximate size of the bridge of a nose. Four, insert the ties. Lay the mask on the table with the inside of the mask facing you. Fold the short side in, forming a half inch fold or hem. Make a very small snip right on the fold. Insert the tie into the small hole you've created. Not one end, leaving a short tail to be stapled. Fold the hem over the knotted tail and staple it. Then staple the tail of the knot to secure it in place. Ensure the flat side of the staple is on the inside of the mask. Then secure the tie with a safety pin. Repeat making the snips on the other side and perform this tie step three more times. 
Step five, tying your mask. The top of the mask with the nose pinch should be tied snugly toward the top of the head. The bottom tie should be tied snugly below the hairline around the neck. And that's it. In about 10 minutes, we made a mask that will greatly help prevent the spread of coronavirus and germs. Thanks so much for doing your part. And for more information and videos on how you can help fight the coronavirus pandemic, check out this website.